Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Keith, and welcome to my review of the new movie, Wonder Woman. That's right, Wonder Woman. After Superman, and Batman, and Iron Man, and Ant-Man, and Aquaman, and Meteor Man, and so many different others, we finally get Wonder Woman. And I couldn't be more thrilled. This wonderful film details Wonder Woman's origin story. Now, it does tend to play flat, fast and loose with the actual comics, but that's okay because we haven't seen Wonder Woman's origin story before. With all due respect to Batman and Superman and Spider-Man, we see their origin stories all the time, like every couple years. Like, I get it. But with this, it was very refreshing. And what's also refreshing are the performances in this film. Gal Gadot, of course, is Wonder Woman, and Chris Pine is her companion slash sidekick in this film. I don't want to talk too much about the plot points because it's one of those few films that doesn't give everything away in the trailer. There were a lot of things in this movie that I wasn't expecting. So instead of talking about the film, allow me to talk about two of the amazing women behind the film. Let's start with the director, Patty Jenkins. Patty Jenkins, of course, went on to win a Best New Feature uh, Best New Feature Director uh, Award for her movie Monster, which of course started Charlize Theron, and Charlize Theron went on to win a well-deserved Best Actress Oscar. But wouldn't you know that Patty Jenkins has dabbled in TV as well? For those of you familiar with the TV series The Killing, she directed two episodes of that. And not just any two episodes, the pilot episode to get everything going, and the episode that finally answered the question of who killed Rosie Larson. And now her transition to the big screen with her first major blockbuster seems seamless. She is a fantastic director. And with all due respect to Zack Snyder and David Ayer, who directed um, Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, and Suicide Squad, respectfully, she shows that women be belong behind the camera directing these big superhero blockbusters because she does a fantastic job. The recognition that this movie is getting is absolutely well-deserved. The other person I need to acknowledge is Wonder Woman herself, Gal Gadot, because let me tell you something. I know there was a lot of talk about different actresses playing this role. She nails this part. Now, of course, we saw her in Batman versus Superman, but that was a smaller role. This role, she basically makes her own, and I can't think of anybody else playing this part. The movie was entertaining. It was very well done. Take the kids out to see it. And one of the great things about taking the kids out is your young, the, the young ladies going to see this movie can come home and start running around the house pretending to be Wonder Woman. The same way when I was a little kid, I used to pretend to be Spider-Man and as a big kid, I pretend to be Batman. I mean, have you ever seen Batman and me in the same place? No, it could happen. Anyways, the uh, movie was very entertaining. The only thing and the only comment I want to make was because I'm always looking at DC movies and Marvel movies, Marvel has a plan, and I've said that before. Their post credit scenes are always great, and it kind of ties into what's coming next. Of course, the next thing for DC is the, um, the Justice League movie, but there was no post credit scene. So I felt that there was a great opportunity to kind of tie into what's coming up next. But again, DC didn't do it, which is weird because there was a post credit scene with Batman versus Superman, but not with this one. So that was a little disappointing. I really enjoy this film. I recommend it. I give it a B plus. Get out and see Wonder Woman. And once you do, let me know what you think about it. CFL underscore fan on Twitter, Facebook.com slash Witty Whittier and Witty Whittier.com. Thank you so much for checking this out. My name is Keith and I'll see you at the movies.